thank you for your hospitality last night. But we really should be getting on our way. I wish you safe travel. Bye, Ravenpaw. Raystripe and I will have to visit again soon. I'd like that. And keep an eye on Target Claw for me? Of course, Ravenpaw. This is certainly odd weather. Look at the sky. What do you make of it, Barkface? Oh no. This is bad. What is it, Barkface? Has Starkwind spoken to you? What did you see? <laughs> the, the clouds. They're stained with blood. The ancestors that are trying to warn us. It's a sign. This day, this day shall bring unnecessary death. But any of the clans could see those clouds. We can't be sure that the message is for us. Maybe it's directed to Shadow Clan. Yeah, a glimpse of their future if they continue to push Wing Clan around. Whatever Star Clan has planned for us, today we must return to our home. <laughs> I can smell more rain in the air. We must not let this slow us down. Should Fireheart and I scout ahead? Yes. Let me know if you see any dogs, two legs, or rats. My clan is stronger this morning, but we had trouble with dogs on the way out. We must stay alert. I can see it! Our camp! Wait! Enter with caution. There may be hunting parties from the other clans here. I'll go and make sure the way is clear. It's safe. Nothing's here. Hmm. It seems we'll have to work hard to restore the camp. But there will be time for that later. My clan is grateful for your help. You have both proven yourselves to be warriors worthy of Star Clan. Wind Clan has come home, and now it is time for you to return to yours. It's been an honor traveling with Wind Clan. If you need help with anything else while you're settling back into your territory, let us know. Thank you for the offer, but Wind Clan will manage on its own. Keep an eye out on your way back to Thunder Clan. There may be hostile hunting parties lurking about. I'll have one Whisker and Deadfoot escort you to Fortress to ensure your safety out of our land. Thank you, Tallstar. We better get going. Your clan will be missing their two Candice warriors. Aw, oh, you're all too much. Tell Blue Star that Wind Clan will not forget that it was Thunder Clan who brought them home. Anyone hungry? I can't believe you caught that. It was moving so fast. A bit chewy for my liking. More of a squirrel man myself. Uh, no thank you. Squirrels have too much fluff for my taste. For me, nothing beats a windswept hair. You know, it'd be quicker if we followed the river home. But that would mean crossing River Clan territory. We could follow the gorge. River Clan never hunts there because it's too steep for them to get down to the fish. <sighs> Even my claws ache. I wouldn't mind taking a shorter route. But Tolstoy ordered us to take you to Four Trees. If you don't want to come with us, we understand. We'll only be in River Clan territory for a blink. I can't see us meeting any trouble. We couldn't let you go into River Clan territory alone. You're far too exhausted from the journey. If you did meet trouble, you're in no state to deal with it. We won't meet anyone. You know, if we did go that way, River Clan would know that Wind Clan has returned. And once they've smelled fresh Wind Clan scent, they might not be so keen to come rabbit hunting in your territory again. And Il Meme will be home before moonrise! <laughs> you just want to make sure you get a good nest in the warrior's den. I have always wanted a nest in the center. Then we're going through River Clan territory? Yes, we are. Now we better get moving. It's getting late. long drop down. 
I'm glad Wing Clan doesn't have any territory like this. I'm fine with hills and grass. I am glad we're taking a shortcut. My pads are wearing thin from all this travel. I'll need to sleep for a moon to recover. See what I tell you. Not a single River Clan warrior in sight. This was a great idea. Uh oh. Fireheart, I think you spoke too soon. Hey, look! Is that Wing Clan? I didn't know they were back. I thought I smelled intruders. Oh no. River Clan Patrol! Attack! Wait, we can explain. Your presence here is explanation enough. <laughs> I'm gonna sit on you. Run! I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, kitty pet. I'm not a kitty pet anymore. <laughs> you mule like one. <laughs> we were just passing through here. We meant no harm. <laughs> well. This will be the last time you set paw in River Clan territory. Uh, you need to lay off the fish. Uh, Take this, you fox heart. Uh, uh, you should have gone the four trees way. Uh, leopard fur! What's the meaning of this? Thunder Clan, attack! Uh, Tiger Claw's here with backup. It's an ambush! Underclad patrol! Uh, 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 fish eater! That was for hunting in our territory while we were away. And this is for attacking us! Ah, <laughs> uh, I almost feel sorry for you, Deadfoot. And I thought wing clan cats were supposed to be fast. You can hardly keep up. How dare you! Uh, they were just returning home, Leopard Fur. Back off! Oh! You'll pay for that one! Oh yeah? We'll see about that. Oh no, Sandpaw. You're getting too close to the edge. You're going to fall. Ow! Sandpaw! Hey! Let me go, you stupid furball! I can win my own battles without your help. I was just trying to help. You looked like you were in danger. I almost had her. Ah! Oh no, White Claw. Help me. Quick, grab onto my paw. No, no. Hold on, ah. please. Ah. No. <gasps> oh no. No. This must be what Parkface saw in the clouds. White Claw was the unnecessary death. White Claw. No! What have you done? I, I... I tried to grab him. He just lost his footing. I didn't mean to. This is your fault! Uh, he must have pushed him! It was just a border fight. This wasn't supposed to happen. Graystrip should be punished for this. Killing cats in battle is against the warrior code. It was only an accident. No harm was meant. My son would never intentionally hurt another cat. You can't blame him for defending himself. This would have never happened if you hadn't trespassed on our territory. The border by the gorge is hardly your territory. You never hunt here. River Clan settled down. There's no use for another attack. We have suffered enough loss for one day. This has gone far beyond a border fight. We shall return to our clan and hold a vigil for White Claw. This has become a matter to settle at another time and in a different way. Let's go. Very well, Leopard Fur. White Claw died with honor. May Star Clan watch over him. Leopard Fur sounded upset. This might have started a war. Yes, this shouldn't have happened. One whisker and I should return home. You two warriors have served us well. And my clan thanks you. Thanks for fighting beside us. Don't mention it. Let's not linger here. We should report this to Blue Star. The sooner Graystripe gets back to camp, the better. It wasn't his fault. This could have happened to any cat. I know, but what's done is done. And River Clan won't rest until they get vengeance. I can't believe I let him fall. He was right there. I had him. You can't blame yourself, Graystripe. He was attacking and you were defending yourself. 
Just be glad it wasn't you that went over the gorge. I guess you're right, Fireheart. But the look in his eyes before he fell. I can never unsee that. Look what the cat dragged in. So, you two made it back from your special mission. Guess I lost that bet. Everyone looks pretty roughed up. Did something bad happen, Tiger Claw? I'll tell you later. These two need to speak to Blue Star. Fireheart, Greystripe. Welcome back. Did you find Wind Clan? Were you able to bring them back? Yes, Blue Star. They are safe in their camp. Tallstar told me to thank you. That's good to hear. You're wounded. What happened? Fireheart decided to return home through River Clan territory. It wasn't just Fireheart who decided. We all agreed to go that way. They were found by a River Clan patrol, and if my patrol hadn't heard their yowls in time, they wouldn't have made it home at all. So you rescued them. Thank you, Tiger Claw. I wish it was only that simple. These mouse brains were fighting alongside the gorge, and Greystripe pushed White Claw, one of River Clan's warriors, over the edge. What? That's horrible! It was an accident. He didn't push White Claw, he fell. Greystripe would never kill a cat in a border fight. Hmm. Yes. But I doubt Leopardfur will see it that way. He was her apprentice. I don't know what you two are thinking. Traveling through River Clan territory and with Wind Clan cats? You've sent the message that we're their allies, which will only drive River Clan and Shadow Clan closer together. Wind Clan was with you in River Clan territory? Just two warriors, dead foot and one whisker. Tallstar gave us an escort home. We were tired. You shouldn't have been in River Clan territory at all, especially with Wind Clan cats. It wasn't an alliance. They were just escorting us back home. Did River Clan know that? River Clan knew we were going to find Wind Clan and bring them back. They agreed to it at the gathering. They shouldn't have attacked us. It was a special mission, like a journey to the High Stones. They didn't agree to let you travel through their territory, now did they? You still don't understand clan ways, do you? Kitty pet. I agree. You should not have entered River Clan's hunting grounds. It was a dangerous thing to do. I'm sorry. At the same time, you did well finding Wind Clan and bringing them back. But we will need to prepare ourselves for an attack from River Clan. We need to start training more warriors. Fireheart and Greystripe. Frostfur tells me two of her kits are almost ready to begin their training. I want each of you to take a kit as your apprentice. It would be an honor. But none of Frostfur's kits are six moons old yet. It won't be long before they are. The divisions at the last gathering troubled me, and today's skirmish only confirms my fears. Wouldn't it be better to ask more experienced warriors like Longtail or Darkstripe to take on another apprentice? These two are hardly more than apprentices themselves! I did consider that, but Longtail will be busy enough with Swiftpaw, and Darkstripe is getting Dustpaw ready to become a full warrior. What about Running Wind? He seems like a good choice. Running Wind is a fine hunter and a loyal warrior. But I don't think he has the patience for mentoring. ThunderClan has better uses for his skills. And you think these two have got what it takes to train ThunderClan warriors? We shall find out. Don't forget, they brought WingClan home. And of course, Tigerclaw, I am relying on you to oversee the training. <sighs> yes, Blue Star. Get something to eat and then rest. We'll have the naming ceremony for the kits at Moonheim. I'm starving. Do you want me to grab you something to eat from the fresh kill pile? No, I just want to go to sleep. Try to forget about this day. Oh, alright. I'll wake you up at Moon High. Good night, Greystripe. Oh, hey, Sandpaw. Hey, uh, thanks for saving me today, Fireheart. I should have been more grateful before complaining. A after seeing what happened to White Claw, I'm glad you warned me when you did. Uh, you're welcome. I heard you're getting an apprentice tonight. That's cool. Yeah, I'm excited. 
I didn't expect for it to happen so soon. You're going to be a great mentor, Fireheart. Wake up, you two. It's time for the apprentice ceremony. Thanks, Willow Pelt. Raystripe, come on. We're going to be mentors. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. We're getting apprentices. Windclan's home now? Ah, well done, you two. Thank you, Halftail. You must come and share the story with the others one of these nights. We will. Mama! We don't need to be groomed, we're going to be apprentices! That's even more a reason for why you two should look presentable. The whole clan will be watching the ceremony. Aren't you excited, Graystripe? You've talked about this day since we were apprentices ourselves. I killed a cat today. I'm not sure I deserve an apprentice. Graystripe, White Claw's death wasn't your fault. It was the bad place for an attack, and the River Clan cats should have known that. Sandpaw nearly fell over the edge, too. I feel sorry for the kid that will be Fireheart's apprentice. Imagine a clan cat being trained by a kitty pet, right, Sample? I don't know, Despot. I think he'll do alright. Listen to me, Greystripe. Blue Star doesn't blame you. She knows you're a good warrior, and that's why she's giving you your own kit to train. No! Blue Star's just doing it because Thunder Clan needs more apprentices. And why do we need them? Because I've given River Clan a reason to hate us! This moon high, we gather together to name two new apprentices. Please step forward, Syndicate and Bracken Kit. Hey! I'm so excited! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> I wonder who will train which kid. From this day forward, until she has earned her warrior name, this apprentice will be called Cinderpaw. My own apprentice name! Cinderpaw! It has a nice ring to it! Fireheart, you are ready for your first apprentice. You will begin Cinderpaw's training. You are fortunate, Fireheart, to have had more than one mentor. I expect you to pass on everything I taught you to this young apprentice and share with her the skills you learned from Tiger Claw and Lionheart. <laughs> Cinder Paw! Cinder Paw! Cinder Paw! Cinder Paw! And this new apprentice will be called Brackenpaw. Greystripe, you will train Brackenpaw. Our honored friend Lionheart was your mentor, and I hope that his skill and wisdom will pass through you to your new apprentice. Brackenpaw! 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 Thank you. Blue Star. Hi, Fireheart! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Sorry! <laughs> You're fine. I'm going to be the best apprentice ever! <laughs> I'm sure you will. So, when will we start training? As soon as possible. I promise. Congratulations, Fireheart. You're going to be a great mentor, darling. Just a fair warning, Fireheart. Cinderpaw can be a bit of a pawful. If she starts talking your ear off, just send her to the elders. She needs to get rid of her extra energy. <laughs> Thanks, Frostfur. I'll keep that in mind. Mom! Don't embarrass me in front of my new mentor! <sighs> Kitty Pet and his oafish friend, training clan born kits. It's disgraceful. I want to be a good mentor, but Tiger Claw just seems to be waiting for me to fail. <laughs> 